Today, I'm going to share with you seven strategies to help you get started and to grow your YouTube channel. Now, it doesn't matter if you haven't got a channel or you've got a channel that you've inherited by posting and commenting on other people's videos. This video is going to help you get started so that you can open and grow your YouTube channel in 2023, especially if you are a small business owner or an entrepreneur who wants to reach out and grow your audience online. So the first thing you need to do is to actually start. So open up a YouTube channel and optimize that YouTube channel so that it makes it easier for your visitors to subscribe to your channel. But not only that, it makes it easier for them to learn more about you. So this would include adding a header to your channel, making sure that the banner tells your viewers what it is that you want to offer them. Also in the banner, there's the option to add clickable links. So in other words, you can actually ask your YouTube viewer to actually take action from your YouTube channel. Make sure that your profile image is of you and that you've named your channel in relation to your brand and your messaging. Also complete the about section of your channel. This is super important because this is going to be the place where your YouTube subscribers will come to to find out a little bit more about you. If you can, make sure that you create playlists for your channel and also make sure that if you can, in your videos, always ask people to subscribe to your channel to find out more about you. So the second reason that you should start a YouTube channel in 2023 is to help you to sell your products and share more information about what it is that you do. If you can clearly identify on your YouTube channel what it is that you do, the problems that you solve, what you're selling and what you want to achieve, then your viewers are going to come back for more. The third thing that you can do to get started on YouTube or enhance the YouTube channel that you've already got is to set achievable goals. So in other words, I don't expect you to set a goal that is completely out of reach. So don't expect to set yourself a goal of like, I'm going to have a million subscribers by the end of 2023, because that's going to be really hard work to get to. YouTube is really about growing, adapting, adjusting, and then tweaking so that you grow gradually but when you grow gradually, you grow with the subscribers who are going to engage with your content and possibly become new clients. So set YouTube goals that you know are achievable. Small achievable goals which you can work towards are so much better than one massive big one that you, you know is out of your reach. So the fourth thing that you should do to actually grow your YouTube channel or actually get started on YouTube is to begin making and uploading videos consistently. So in other words, don't put one video up one month and then don't do anything for two months and then come back, come back and put another video up. Try to create your videos, maybe sit down in one day and record four videos and then schedule them and plan them out so that you have a consistent upload schedule. One a week or one a fortnight is perfectly fine that allows YouTube to see that you're active on your channel. And especially if you actually repurpose those videos to other platforms, you're going to get people coming to your channel all the time. So having a consistent upload schedule will really help you grow your channel to where you want to take it. And it also brings me to the next strategy, which is working out and giving the algorithm hints and tips to who you are and what you do. And the algorithm is going to learn from not only your content, but it's going to learn from the people who are viewing your content. So if you do have a consistent upload schedule, then YouTube is going to push your content out to those people who are looking for the solutions or the products that you are talking about. So YouTube works slightly different to other channels where they um, where you give out loads and loads of stuff and people like get attracted to you. What YouTube does is it actually looks at various different parts of your video and what people are doing and the behaviors of the subscribers of your channel. And they'll push your products and your videos out to them. And when they interact with those videos, they'll then push more of your video content towards them and it goes on and on and on until you're all over the place and people are consuming your content regularly. 
Talking about consistent video uploads, there's a few things that you can do to make your videos really work for you. The first thing is to use a tool that helps you to come up with the topic and the title of your video. This is really gonna help you to grow and get started on YouTube. You can use a tool such as maybe TubeBuddy for this, or you can use some of the Google keyword search tools that we've got out there on Google. Second thing is to think about the title of your video. Does the title say what's happening in your video? Think about the title from your audience's point of view, not from your point of view. You're the expert, so you know what's in your video already. And you may know some of the things that your audience don't know about. So try to keep your title quite matter of fact and searchable. So in other words, name your title like somebody would actually search for the solution in your video or in Google. So like, for example, how do I get started with YouTube? How to's. This is like a um, numbered one, so three steps to, or um, I'm gonna share with you, you know, so you're really giving your title, uh, a title where you're actually informing your user. Always remember to add a video description to your video so that that really emphasizes what's inside the video. If you can, add tags to your video. So if you're already active on Instagram, you use hashtags over on Instagram to help your video come up in the search a little bit more. So use the tags on YouTube the same way. Use the tags to help with spelling mistakes, help with uh, keyword research, any of those things that you think would be searchable and useful to your audience, put them into your tags so that when, when your audience is typing that into the search bar, your tags are going to be pulled up alongside it. Always try to add a video thumbnail to your video because that's gonna make your video pop against all the other videos as well. So having a picture of you on the video always makes it so much more personal. So give a go of putting yourself on the video with the title as well, because it always makes it that more human touch. If you're on the video thumbnail, people know that if they see you on the thumbnail, they're gonna see you inside the video. Growing your YouTube channel and getting started on your YouTube channel starts with looking at where you are at now. Now, of course, if you haven't got a channel, then you're gonna start from zero. But if you already have a channel, why not spend some time researching and looking at the data of your current channel and see which videos you've already got on there that are working well for you. And you can do that inside of your YouTube studio, which is a great resource that YouTube gives you completely free of charge. Another strategy to think about when you're getting started with YouTube or growing your current channel is not to let the tech take control. You don't need flashy equipment to actually get started on YouTube. You just need the basics. So in other words, either use the camera on your computer as it stands or invest in a webcam, which will give you not only a camera, but it'll also give you a microphone. If you haven't got a microphone inside your webcam, then you can just use ear pods with a speaker on it so that you can make sure that your sound is very clear and people can hear you. So don't let the tech take control. If you haven't got a, a desk light that you can use to lighten your face and lighten the area around you, then make sure that you position your desk in front of the window so that you get natural light. That's always going to work really well. So those strategies that I've shared with you today will just help you to take a look at getting started on YouTube and actually growing the current channel that you've already got. There's so many other reasons why you should think about getting started on YouTube in 2023. I could go on and on and on. Saying that, I'd love to invite you to my YouTube masterclass, which is taking place in December, where I'll go through these strategies in more depth to help you get started or to actually grow your current channel. So if you'd like to find out more about that masterclass, and I'll drop a link to that below this video so that you can register and join me there on December the 1st for that masterclass. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. My name is Anita Wong and I am a YouTube and video marketing consultant and trainer. And I would love for you to learn more about YouTube and how 
you can use YouTube to actually repurpose and build your audience online to make it easier for you to attract new clients and to up level your business. So if that's something that you'd like to learn about, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. And if you've enjoyed this video and you think you know somebody that will enjoy it as well, then don't forget to share it with your network. So if you have any questions about getting started with YouTube or growing your own channel, then feel free to drop them in the comments below this video and I will do my best to answer them as best as I can. So thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.